So practically any researcher or a PhD student, you know, an aspiring academic wants to write research papers for these high impact Scopus index journals. And you might be wondering, you know, to yourself, especially if you're at the beginning of your academic career, what do you need in order to be able to write a high impact research paper for one of these top Scopus index journals? So in this video, I want to talk about the three key things that you really need to get right in order to be able to, to do that and to write and publish your papers in high impact journals. So let's dive right into it. If you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowek and I run Academic English Now, where I help researchers write research papers for high impact journals. And in this video, I want to talk about the three key things that you absolutely must get right if you ever want to get published in one of those top journals. The first really important thing is obviously the topic, right? Without a high impact topic, you can never even, you know, dream of getting published in a high impact journal because, you know, your topic is just not there. Now, of course, this is easier said than done. And what, what is a high impact research topic and who is to judge that, right? And I have a few other videos on this channel where I dive much deeper into what makes a high impact research topic. But, you know, in essence, what you need to have is a very solid research gap. Um, if you don't know what a research gap is, I've got a link here to, to another video, but this is academic justification for your study. So basically there's either a lack of studies or there is, you know, insufficient research on something or there is a controversy in your field um, or you know lots of previous studies have important limitations and when you have all these three um, or two of them that really adds to your to your topic and makes it really solid and you know another aspect of having a high impact research topic is also its relevance for the society you know for your field in general and what you notice about those really like top top journals like for example nature or science is that they publish topics that are that have a super wide impact you know for for the world for for the people in general for the society and so on beyond this um, beyond the confines of the narrow scientific discipline right so so this is the first thing you you really need a high impact research topic which usually consists of a research gap and a high relevance and importance to um, the society or the, or the world at large right now once you have this like the, the second thing that you really need to do is to be able to express your research ideas logically and in appropriate academic language now you know this is kind of divided into two parts right because you need to be able to um, structure your papers and make a coherent story you know a lot of reviewers or PhD supervisors they always talk about a coherent story but none of them really explain what it actually means you know and th this means that your paper flows from the first to the last part and the, the easiest way to do this is to use what I call the inverted pyramid principle where you go from general to specific and I've got another video where I dive much deeper into kind of the, the structure. Um, but just to give you one example of how most introductions to research papers are structured is that, you know, they, they start with the importance of the topic. And then we have a brief literature review, like in a paragraph or two. And then we have the research gap or the problem. And then we have the aim of your study, right? That's the pyramid structure. And all research papers, if you dive deeper and you analyze the structure, that the high impact papers follow um, that flow as well. And you wanna you wanna maintain it as well. And the second aspect of you know of this is also being able to express your research ideas appropriately in appropriate academic language. You know, the easiest way to implement this very very quickly is to imitate how researchers in your discipline who have published in high impact papers actually write. 
and you know Azure you've been reading probably a ton of research papers so what you can do is you know highlight key phrases from those papers for the different parts of your of your paper right so you can highlight some key phrases for example for the research gap or the importance of the topic in the introduction or for the aim and use those key phrases in your own text right so that that would be a very sort of quick way of of implementing that academic language another very quick tip is to is to try and be aware of the mistakes that you've been making so keep a list of any recurring problems that you know that happen with your language in your papers maybe as you get feedback from reviewers from your phd supervisor from your colleagues right and use those to help you improve as well so that's the second element, like being able to express your research ideas logically and in appropriate academic language. Now, the third key element that you really need to get right as well is to be able to select the right journal for your publication. Because what can happen is that, you know, you've got a really high impact topic and you've written a brilliant paper, but you've submitted it somewhere that is not even remotely interested in that paper, you know? And so what you, what you want to do is, is really carefully analyze where you want to be submitting that paper because it's happened to me before as well at the beginning of my career that I just, you know, submitted a paper and then it didn't even go under review because I got it back straight away saying that like, look, we, we don't consider, let's say, qualitative research. You know, we only publish quantitative research or, you know, your paper is too short. Our papers are minimum 8,000 words or your papers is too long, right? Um, or your paper is off topic. We don't publish papers on this specific topic. Or we've already published five papers on this topic this year. Haven't you read our journal at all? We're not interested in publishing anything more on this topic, right? So you've got to carefully pick the journal where you want to publish in order to maximize your chances of it actually being accepted there. And you know, a very easy way to do this, and I've got another video, a full video where I dive deeper into, into this, is to basically analyze um, the journals where the papers that you've been referring to in your article, the, where those papers have been published, you know, and start making a list, you know. And from that list, you'll start getting a clearer picture where certain papers are being published and which journals are the top journals in your field. And then, you know, once you've got a longer list of journals like that, then you want to go into the website and look at the scope of these journals in terms of, you know, um, the topics, the audience, the, the methodology that they prefer and so on and see if your paper fits, right? And, and then start narrowing down the, that list to really select the journal where your chances of getting published are much higher, right? So in this video, I went over the, the three main things that you need to get right in order to write high impact research papers. And that's number one, that's the, the topic. You need a high impact research topic. Number two, you need to be able to express your research ideas logically and appropriately. And number three, you also need to be able to find the right journals to publish your research, right? If you enjoyed this video, then hit the like and the subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. And also, if you want to, you know, really accelerate your progress and write more research papers, write an excellent thesis, then let's talk because I might be able to help you. And I've put some time aside in my calendar um, this week to speak to you one-on-one -on -one and, you know, we'll dive deeper and identify your specific challenges and then we'll also look at the specific goals that you want to achieve and we'll outline a personalized strategy for you to help you achieve those goals and if you're interested then click on the apply link somewhere below this video and apply for this one-to-one -one strategy session.